everybody. I'm the owner of Onnit Plumbing. My name's Morgan, and today we've got a real special one for you. We're going out to the Applegate Valley to a property where we were called for a water leak that was detected by leak detection. We get out there, and uh, Patrick here, by measuring the pipe coming into the crawl space, was able to determine it's like seven feet deep. That's extreme. So we've got excavation contractors on en route. They're gonna dig down and then we're going to fix it and they're gonna backfill it with gravel. It's pretty extreme repair. If this was done like in a normal manner that was two feet deep, this customer would be a, a tenth of the cost. But because of the depth of it, you're gonna see it's pretty wild. We are in Josephine County. And this is uh, kind of our patrol area. This is where we do all of our calls. We're service plumbers, so, you know, we might get anywhere, we might get one call in a day, we might get seven calls in a day, but uh, emergencies is kind of our game, and uh, that's, that's what we do. So we're bouncing around, responding, trying to get all that plumbing fixed so people have hot water, they have water in this county. Uh, pulling into this pretty, pretty nice area, this nice property and uh, we're gonna go ahead and make sure we got our paperwork in order. In Oregon, anytime you've got a job over $2,000, you've gotta get the estimate approved beforehand and signed, and you also have to have a notice of a right to lien. Um, so I've got all that in order, and uh, we're gonna go deal with the customer right now and then get to work. We're here. Pat here. So while Morgan's in there dealing with the customer, I figured I'd show you kind of what's going on here. We've got all of our leak detection flags. And this is the spot where we're gonna dig. And so we know our, our leak is right in this area here. Um, it's hard for them to get an accurate locate because of how deep this really is. Um, I can show you around this side of the property here. We come around to our crawl space access, which is significantly lower than the other portion of the home. You can kind of see where that where these shingles lead to if I follow around here. So you can imagine how deep the pipe is below this grade. Gotta cut these irrigation lines out of the way so we can put them back when the time comes. Process, man. That is not a fun hole to dig. So we are breaking for lunch. We're at the Takira, Tak Takaria, Takaria, Takaria El Rodeo on Rogue River Highway. Pat got some uh, breakfast tacos. Mmm. And I got a uh, number seven burrito. Oh, he didn't give me a receipt. Guess I'm not writing it off. What's the number? Solid eight. Eight out I'd of ten. Give it an eight. All right, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let me uh, let me see here. I gotta get my truck started. This is the place, right on Rogue River Highway. And uh, man, this burrito is massive, dude. Oh wow. That's why I get them. Big boys need big burritos. Mmm. 
Yeah, dude, I've been here before, and I'm going to say it's like an 8 out of 10 establishment. Mm. You ever on Rogue River Highway? Hit it up. Taqueria El Rodeo. 8 out of 10. Let us know what you think. It's getting bigger. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Look at that. We're close, guys. Here's a crimp ring. Look at that. This water line made a creek. That's why we couldn't find it. Going the other way. That is deep. Jesus. All right, I think we're going to find it right here. I hope so. That's bizarre. You hear it boiling out. Yeah, it's like gurgling itself out of the hole. Let's get him a hose. Got a hose? Yeah, it's right there. We need another one though. Sketchy leak repair. We got walls of dirt around me. We gotta cut into this cavern. Adapt it to PEX. Run a new PEX line in. Can you turn the water off? Oh yeah, we can't. Never mind. It's not gonna work. This is the sketchiest thing I've done in a while. Insulation, uh, bud. Yeah. All right, guys. What a send today has been. It's about four o'clock. Got up and started at uh, six thirty, I think. And um, obviously, we I did not dig it. I contracted it, but that is way down there. We had a typical break where the copper that was used for the interior plumbing was rolled out about six feet and then it connected to PVC, right at that PVC adapter. It was broken, but what made this one extra special, the fact that the original grade was down there, and then somebody did landscaping and they built it up all the way to you see up here where we're sitting. And so you got all that fill. We had to dig back down to the original native and run a PEX line in. Honestly, I don't love the fact that we had to put a new male adapter in there. But they are going to backfill it with gravel and uh, should be a lot better. So there's your uh, plumbing call of the day. Quite a dandy one. We'll see you around on the next one.